Colorado's newest law signed today gives students access to mental health help. It doesn't seem especially controversial, but before it was signed, a handful of rural conservative school districts banded together to say they will not participate. They all said the exact same thing word for word, which caught the eye of reporter Mark Salinger. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for being here. In front of a crowd of supporters, the governor today signed a bill the people in this room say will help students with mental health. More children in need of services will be able to get those services. House Bill 1003 creates a school mental health assessment. Students from 6th to 12th grade will be screened and referred to a therapist if needed. The bill sponsor, Democratic Representative Daphna Michelson Janay, says parents can opt out of the screenings for their students. But if a student is above the age of 12, they can opt back in without their parents' approval. If they're going to confide in a therapist and then that therapist calls mom and dad at the end of the night, you're never going to have another therapy session. The goal seems simple. Get more students, more help. Getting everybody to agree on that is more difficult. The state is not in charge of the mental health of your children. My kids. Welcome to the Woodland Park Board of Education meeting on April 12th. This is one more standing in the way of big government taking charge of your children. Board members read a resolution opposing the bill. No, I don't know why the camera on the stream was pointing at a random wall. The Supreme Court has repeatedly held the right of parents to control and direct the education and upbringing of their own child to be a fundamental right protected under the 14th Amendment. Sounds original. But it's not. The Supreme Court repeatedly held the right of parents to control and direct the education. Word for word, Garfield County School Board Director Tony May read the exact same resolution at their meeting a couple weeks later. May told me on the phone today he didn't write it, he just read it. He said he didn't know who wrote the resolution, shared from school board to school board, opposing the bill that today became law. I absolutely believe that where they have already decided that they're not going to take part in this program, the people who suffer are the children. 